Now about time, big box, a few things of interest in here, let's get into it. Okay, I guess it can open a bit in the post. I've got this because I want to have play with this thing. It's an RFID device. Can't even read and write tags with it. I've been wanting to play one of these things for a while. How good is it? I really have no idea. Batteries, doesn't feel like it's got any. No, it doesn't. It takes four AAAs. Okay. Okay, so you drop the card in there. So you push cards in the back there to program them. And also then you've got these other tags as well. I may not even use it, but it is relatively cheap. It wasn't that expensive at all. Loads and loads of these available. Whether this is the right one, I don't know. These, I've got lots of different frequencies. What's this one supposed to do? Uh, does it say? 125, 250, 375 kilohertz, uh, 500, 625, 750, 875, 1 megahertz, and 1356 megahertz. So it seems to like it does all of them, which is interesting. I don't know what all this is along the bottom here. I don't know. Maybe I've got the best one. I've, I've got no idea. I'll just have to play with it and see what happens. Well, I'll put some batteries in it. Let's get uh, one of these tags. Guess I'll stick it just there. Scan. Read success. Card number is 38721. Well, it even reads it to you. <laughs> Try another one. Try another one. Just the one. Read failure. Read failure. I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably using it wrong. <laughs> I need 125 kilohertz. I need 250 kilohertz. I need 375 kilohertz. I need 500. Read failure. No, it does it automatically anyway. Does something. I'll have to play with that. This one looks interesting. Don't be a check out links down below if I give you links for anything. I don't think this would be one of them, is what I think it is. A resistor and based on the fact it's got some oil on it and it's got some damage on here too I think it's a used one this also came from Ukraine it's supposed to be here uh, 0.001 ohm so 1 milli ohm let's try it out so the guy hooked up onto my test leads here let's look at the LCL meter just here and see what we get well I think that kind of confirms the LCL meters really really well <laughs> yeah, one milliohm, and that's what we're getting. Excellent. Can you guess where this one came from? Yeah, excellent. This is a probe. This thing cost me a fortune. Let me show you what it's for. So I'm doing a repair video on this thing here. I've actually repaired it already. The video may or may not be out in time before you see this one. You may have already seen the video fixing it anyway. What this has got, it's got a clip lead and a Corbin probe, right? So this is actually a sprung probe. So when you push that in, it actually makes contact between the outer and the inner. So you've got a Kelvin connection on the probe and a Kelvin connection on the clip. Now, it's a bit odd you've got one of each on this. Normally you have a pair of clips or a pair of probes. I wanted a pair of clips. And I saw this one on eBay. I'm thinking, eh, it's a bit expensive. I don't know if it really matters. Will it even plug in? It will plug in. Great. Okay. So now I've got a pair of clip leads. Let's uh, try them out. As soon as I've just got a standard resistor, let's see if it will work. So you go. So probe hooks up on here. or clips on. I did clip them both onto the same post and did a zero. So they nulled out the resistance. Put this onto the other post over here. And let's look at the HP milliometer up here. And there we go, that's what we're getting on a milliometer. 1.08 based on that nulling. So I don't know how accurate this meter is. It kind of matches what the East Tester did, which is 1.0. Of 
sort of scaling, but this has got much higher resolution. Now what I'm actually thinking of doing is using this particular meter with different probes to do short detection, which is one of the things you can do with milliometers. But that's the plan. Anyway, it seems to be working. It looks kind of right. Yeah, it's a bit hard thing to get right, but um, yeah, it's working. That's the main thing. I just wish I had two of these. There's one of these on eBay right now, but it's really expensive. It's like it's going to cost me something like three hundred dollars for one probe. Would be nice to have a pair of those though. Hmm. Last package. It's got Momo all over it. It's not a steering wheel. I'll tell you that much right now. I'm thinking my little ring knife isn't going to get this. In. No, it's not going to get it. So actual real knife. Right. That is not the right one. Oh! It's a window seal for motorhome. This isn't the one that I wanted. It's supposed to be a different one. And here is a front one. This is for the front windscreen. So I've got one of them at least. But they're sent the wrong back one. There's two versions of the back windows and they're sent the wrong one. That's brilliant. I'm going to have to get hold of them and say that's wrong. They weren't cheap either, hundreds of dollars. Because I've got an older motorhome, sometimes these parts can be hard to get. The one on the window right now is very old, I think it's original, and it's degrading a little bit. It's getting a little bit sort of powdery if you rub it. It doesn't feel right. I thought I'd get a new seal for it whilst I can, so if I ever do have to get the window done, I've got a brand new seal to put on it. The back one also needed doing, but unfortunately it sent me the wrong one. So that's awesome. And in here, well, hopefully a bit of white ones. It's got the part numbers on here, I should check that. And these are lenses for the lighting inside the motorhome. So it's got the original tidal lights in there still. Well, I've modified them to LED. But the original lenses have been broken previously by somebody else, that, you know, they've got cracks through them and stuff like that. Um, they haven't been treated very well. They bumped into or something, I don't know. But, and I was actually thinking I'd never be able to get replacements. So here we are, replacements. That looks exactly right. It looks correct. So at least this bit should be right. So I've got three of these, because it's got three of them in there. Two of them are damaged, one's okay. But I think, well, if two of them are already cracked, the other one could be cracking soon too. You know, you might just take one mishandling of it, trying to get it apart one time. So I thought, right, I'll just replace all three, put the brand new ones in, and then the one which is still good now, I can keep as a spare, in case I ever need it. Not too exciting. But it's disappointing about the rear window seal. We're going to have to look at that one because that isn't right. Don't forget to check out the links down below. Subscribe over here if you're not already subscribed. Patreon support link over there if you want to help and support me on Patreon. Help me to buy things like test equipment to fix and maybe your donations can help me buy another one of these probes because these things are bloody expensive. Good